store up earthly wealth, but not have a rich relationship with God. So, Jesus was the stories of the Bible. The parable of the wealthy man. Jesus was upset that having lots of money, having lots of nice things, being rich, he wasn't trying to say that that was wrong. But what he was saying was, this man was greedy. Let's face it, the man in this story was already rich. The first thing we heard about him was he was rich. Then he had a bumper harvest. And because he was rich, he probably already had big farms. He could have given some of his harvest away. He could have maybe even sold it. But all he could think about was, how am I going to keep all of this harvest for myself? I have to keep it for myself. What am I going to do? So, as the story goes, he built even bigger barns. And then it seemed like he had everything. He had enough money. And he had everything he ever needed and enough money to buy anything else that he wanted. Now, then he thought, I can relax. Now I can be lazy. Now I don't have to work. I've made it. I've done it. I've got to the top. Have you ever played snakes and ladders? I know you have. And you know when you get to the top line and you think, I've made it. I'm nearly there. I'm going to win. And then there's one more throw of the dice. What happens? You land on a snake, snake and you're right up down to the bottom. And just like that, money, riches, fame, nice things, they don't last forever. And it might seem that this man had everything, but he hadn't thought about what would happen after he died. You see, at Kids Church, we know that we're not going to live forever. Eventually we all go and eventually we all die. But that is not the end. Often in Kids Church we talk about our forever future. And that's what we need to prepare for. It's not wrong to have money and nice things. But they're not the important things. The important thing is to think about what happens after. Am I prepared for my forever future? with God in heaven. You see, it seems like this man could have everything he ever needed. But Jesus said, no, you're a fool. Because you've only thought about, yes, you've prepared, you've planted your seed, you've watered it, you've grown it, you've harvested it, you've done everything to prepare for this life on earth. But that is not all there is. There's much more. You see, my mom lived till she was 96. That's a long time. That's nearly 100 years. That's a long time to live. But actually, compared with all of eternity, forever, 96 years is only a very small time. See, when you go to school, you're preparing for your future. You might like going to school, but you're learning. You're learning things that will help you in your future. So that you can get a nice job and earn some money and look after yourselves. And so that's what you do at school. When you come to kids' church, this is where we're trying to prepare for our forever future. So this man had only thought about his life on earth. He had well prepared. He did have everything he wanted. But now for a minute, I'm going to tell you about another thing in the Bible. This was a true event. Jesus was at the temple. And people would often give money. Like we have a, an offering basket at the back. People would give money, and that money was used to pay for the priests, to pay for the work that they did in the temple, and some of it was used to help poor people. So people would often come along and give money. And people who had plenty of money sometimes gave big piles of money. And people like the Pharisees that we've heard of before, they like to show off. And they liked everyone to see how much money they were giving. People gave a lot of money in the work of the temple. But this particular day, there was a little, a little lady came on her own. And she just put in two small coins. That's all she put. Other people were putting in piles of notes, lots of coins. And this lady only put in two small coins. But Jesus called his disciples aside. 